What's up, Ability Tree 2020? Woo! Awaken! Come on. Hey, come on, just worship with us wherever you are. Come on. That's right, come on, make some room. Here we go. Come on, clap it up. Sing, I was lost with a broken heart. You picked me up, now I'm set apart. And from the ash, I am born again. Forever safe in the Savior's hand. And you are more than my words can say. I follow you, Lord, for all my days. And fix my eyes, follow all your ways. Forever free in unending grace. Come on, we say it. Cause you are, you are, you are my freedom. You higher, live you higher, you love, you love, you love, never ending world. Oh, oh, oh. You are in us, and nothing can take your place. You are all we need, and your love that is us free. Let's go, let's go. Come on, let's we'll sing together in the midst. Sing in the midst of my darkest night. Let your love be the shining light. And breaking chains that will hold me. You set your sun down to set me free. And everything of this world will fade. I'm pressing on until I see your face. And I will live, let your will be done. And I won't stop till your kingdom come. Cause you are, you are, you are my freedom. We lift you higher, lift you higher. Your love, your love, your love, never ending world. Oh, oh. Come on, we say it. You are like in us. Nothing can take your place. You are all we need, and your love that you set us free. You are alive, you are alive in us, and nothing can take your place. You are all we need, and your love that you set us free. Come on, break it down right here. Cause you are, you are, you are my freedom. We lift you higher, lift you higher. Your love, your love, your love, never ending war. Oh. Come on now, make it loud, right go. Cause you are, you are, you are my freedom. We lift you higher, lift you higher. Your love, your love, your love, never ending war. Oh, oh, you are like, you are. Nothing can take your place. You are all we need, and your love that is there. I turn you all up, you all up in us. And nothing can take your place. You are all we need, and your love that is there. I free. Whoa. about the difference between happiness and joy. So in life, there are lots of things that make us happy, right? Like puppies, or maybe watching the sunset, or long walks on the beach, or ice cream. I love ice cream. Now, hands down, cookies and cream is the best flavor. <laughs> but did you know that it is possible to still have joy even without ice cream? <laughs> I know, I didn't think it was possible either, but check this out. <laughs> 
This is gonna be good. Oh! Hey, Armin, what's the matter? My ice cream fell on the ground. Sounds like you need some joy. Thankfully, I was looking on the internet and I found this. The Joy Hat 4000! Ah! Armin, do you feel joy yet? Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you guys doing? Giving Armin joy with the Joy Hat 4000. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. A lot of things can make you happy, like ice cream, or being right all the time, or getting straight A's, or even a Joy Hat 4000. But those things won't last. The joy that comes from Jesus lasts forever. I never thought of it like that. If my joy comes from Jesus, I can be happy even though I don't have any ice cream. That's right. So happiness is found in what happens to us. So if you get an ice cream cone, you may be so super happy, but what if it drops on the ground? Your happiness would go away, right? But joy is found in Jesus who lives in us. So that means that no matter what happens in our lives, no matter what situations we face, we can still have joy because Jesus lives inside of us. But you know, joy is actually a choice. And that leads us to today's big idea, which is, I will choose joy. Go ahead and say it with me. I will choose joy. Now, we're on day three, so you guys are already pros at our big idea challenge, but if at any point during this lesson, I say, I will, the first person to finish the statement and say, choose joy will be the champion of that round. But let's go ahead and hop back into Paul's story because I will. Oh, you guys are on it. Yes, choose joy. So today we are going to be continuing Paul's story. Now, when we left him last time, through God's power, Paul and Barnabas healed a man who had been lame since birth. He had never, ever walked before. Now, that's pretty cool, right? Well, today we are going to be meeting yet another one of Paul's friends named Silas. Everybody say Silas. Now, when Paul set out on his second missionary journey, he took Silas with him, and they headed to a city called Philippi. Some of the people there didn't want to hear about God's story, and they got really, really mad at Paul and Silas for telling the story every single day. In fact, they got so mad, they beat up Paul and Silas right in the middle of the street. Then they threw Paul and Silas in jail. Now remember, Paul and Silas were just trying to tell them about God and now they found themselves behind bars in prison. Now, it seems like Paul and Silas were not having a very good day, right? They were just trying to tell people about the love of Jesus, and it got them beaten up and thrown into prison. How awful is that? Now, if you were in Paul's position, would you continue telling people about this Jesus guy who seems to always get you in trouble? Or would you call it quits? Yeah, I quit! Well, Paul's response may shock you a little bit, so let's see what he did. Even in prison, Paul still shared the good news. He sang songs and praised God in his cell. He wasn't going to let anything stop him. So Paul and Silas had every right to be upset about being in the jail cell, right? Like they could have just sat there in silence and just pouted the whole time and been super upset. But instead, they chose to sing praises to God and to worship him for how amazing he is. Because even in the middle of a jail cell, such a horrible circumstance, they decided that I will, <laughs> yes, choose joy. So as they were worshiping and singing songs of praise to God, they started to notice that the ground was shifting and that the jail bars were rattling and suddenly the entire jail was hit by a giant earthquake. and shook the entire jail so much that the prison doors flung open and all of the handcuffs on the prisoners fell off. And the craziest part was that the jailer who was supposed to be keeping watch over the prison 
slept through the entire thing. Like, could you imagine sleeping through a whole earthquake? Like, he must have been having some really good sleep. <laughs> but because of that, the prisoners had nothing holding them back. They had the perfect opportunity to escape. But Paul and Silas didn't leave, even though they could have. Several people decided to follow Jesus that night, including the jailer and his whole family. And the next morning, they were released from jail, and the city officials even apologized to them. Sorry about that. Paul and Silas encouraged the Christians in the town, and they continued on their mission to tell people about Jesus. So because Paul and Silas had the joy of the Lord that night in the jail, there were so many people that came to experience the love of Jesus that night. And then Paul and Silas continued on to tell all of these other towns about Jesus. Now, some of you guys may have gone through this whole lesson wondering, Kiara, I get that Paul and Silas were singing songs in a jail cell, and I get that they were still having a smile on their face, but what does that have to do with joy and happiness? And what does that have to do with my life? Well, let's take a look. We know from the Bible that we can have joy even when things are going wrong in our life. The reason this is so important is that life changes very quickly and very often. And if our joy were based on circumstances, it would be impossible to hold on to. But our joy is not based on grades or whether or not we win a game or on who likes us or who doesn't. Our joy is based on Jesus. You know, on the outside, happiness and joy look very similar, right? Kind of like these balloons here. They both look pretty much the same. But today, let's say that this one represents happiness. Now, we learned that happiness is found in what happens to us. So that means it is defined by the circumstances that we find ourselves in. So let's say that this flame represents the bad things that happen in our lives, the things that we may not enjoy. And so if we are only happy and we go through bad times, able to give praise and thanks to the God of the universe who loves and cares for us? Or are we so focused on all of the little things that we see going wrong in our lives that we forget to give thanks to God? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I know that I am definitely guilty of that. There have been so many times in my life where I focused on the things that are going wrong instead of recognizing the amazing God that I serve. And so since we're speaking all about the joy of the Lord, I just want to give us a few moments to just be thankful to God for who he is in our lives. No matter what situation you are facing today, God has been faithful to you and he loves you and cares about you more than you will ever know. 
So instead of me just doing all the talking, we are going to spend the next few moments, each of us individually, thanking God for how amazing He is. So I'm going to give you some time and I want you to just think about some ways that God has been there for you, that He's loved you, provided for you, protected you, whatever it is, find some reason to thank God today for giving you this amazing joy. So go ahead and spend some time thanking God. God, we just thank you so much for who you are. We thank you that you love us with an unconditional love, God, that no matter what we go through, no matter what happens in our lives, that you are faithful and that you are there to bring us through every single obstacle that we have to face. So God, I ask that today we choose joy in every single situation. God, even when things seem to not really be going our way, help us to remember that we can choose joy because you live inside of us and you love us more than anything else. God, I pray that we will have a wonderful rest of our day. Help us to enjoy this awesome third day of AT Station and help us to appreciate all that you have done for us and to just give you the glory and the honor that you deserve. We praise you and we thank you. And in Jesus' name, everybody says amen. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining me for yet another morning chapel of AT Station. I'm just having the best time spending my days with you guys this week but we have so much more in store for the next few days guys the talent show is tonight i cannot wait i am so excited and full of joy to get to see all of the wonderful talents that god has given you all but i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day i can't wait to see you guys in just a little bit have a great day guys